Going on YouTube, Clover Bells here, back with another Scarlet Violet video, and today I want to recap some of the interesting niche Pokemon that did very well in day one, heading into day two. Uh, so, you know, you're always going to see some niche Pokemon uh, find a place on a certain team that can excel and do uh, a really good job at what it's supposed to do, and it makes all the difference in a tournament run, right? But the thing that makes this special, at least with this Baltimore run, is... Uh, and the format in general is I've never seen so many niche Pokemon uh, do so so well. And it really proves that we are in a lawless land, a wild, wild west. Uh, and I'll use the word niche for now, but if they do well enough, I think we just might see some new meta development and some new archetypes uh, come to be. Because uh, a lot of these are not just on one team, they're on a lot of different teams. So uh, I want to go over them and let's see and preview them uh, as we head into day two. Okay, so uh, I'm using the Stallworth website here. So it, it, this gives me, you know, a little bit of the results early on as opposed to waiting until the tournament is complete. So uh, if you want, I can link this in the video description below. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these niche options. All right, so let's look at Vivalon over here from Joe's team over here. So um, what's really cool about Vivalon, again, the ability compound eyes, again, just increasing accuracy of some of this stuff. So typical set here uh, is Sleep Powder, Rage Powder, Hurricane. So again, you get a lot of cool support ideas with Vivalon. So you get the redirection support that Amoongus would give you. Uh, and now you have Sleep Powder, which is basically almost accurate to, to hit. Uh, thanks to compound eyes you have a sash so you can survive two attacks potentially and then you have hurricane also uh that can exude some offense uh good strong flying type stab that you don't need to commit a terra to right because sometimes you know for example dragonite or tyranitar they have to commit a terra for terra flying te terra blast but vivlon doesn't need to do that and it's one of the few that doesn't need to do that right now besides her uh pelipper for example so to get some strong damage out of this uh, is quite good overall and it's nice to see a support option here because look now you can have a redirector to, to help you set up your trick room for example you can also try and set up your nasty plot from the your goldengo over here and then otherwise the rest of the team is relatively standard uh again the terra blast terra fighting porygon that was rising as of late you know as opposed to the terra blast terra flying this is going to one shot a lot of the king gambits this is also going to one shot you know potentially uh goldangos for that matter uh and i would imagine it's the you know, the unique EV spread with the quiet set where this is actually one point higher than the special attack. So this ends up being like a, a strong physical move in the end of the day. So uh, we'll have to see what uh, the EV spreads are for that. But I think that's exactly what it is. But other than that, look at this. Dragon, Fairy, Steel, Fire, Water, Grass. So Vivalon having a good role here. And I think it's also on another team down here. Um, some 20. Yep. The, look at this. So same idea. Again, Hurricane, Sleep Powder, Rage Powder, R Compound, Eyes. Similar idea here, again, with the Guard Chomp. The Double Steel idea with Corviknight and King Gambit here, and then Primarina at the end of the day. And then, of course, um, you have you still have your Fire type. Taurian Paul, Paul, Paul Tos? Yeah, Tauros Paldea, please. Okay, so that's cool. But again, like, uh, Vivalon getting a couple of results here is, is quite interesting. Was there another Vivalon? I'm not quite sure. I think there was maybe at least one more. Uh, but again, it's really cool to see the fact that we can see, you know, Vivalon uh, be a bug type for that matter there was actually another bug type that we're going to talk about in a second uh but it's pretty cool to see that vivalon did, did get some results here so let's take a look at some other stuff next up flamigo again a lot of flamigo on those um ursaluna porygon uh incineroar team so if i just round out that team real quick incineroar amoongus uh ursaluna right the porygon Okay, and then I, I think ideally this would be the gold dango slot over here. So this is pretty cool because again, what you're able to do with Flamigo, Scrappy um, is a great ability. All right, think back to Hisui and Decidueye when we covered it. Uh, you can't uh, get intimidated and you can hit ghost types, which is incredible, right? Because again, think about the popular ghost types right now, Hisui and Typhlosion, Dragapult, gold dango for that matter. Uh, you can pretty much just one shot them ideally, you know, Brave Bird is going to do a lot of damage, same with close combat, again, base attack 150, 115, you can't get intimidated, so you can hit all those steel types, uh, also like, you know, King Gambit, Arkeladon for that matter, uh, so Flamigo with Scrappy is actually looking pretty cool here, and then Brave Bird, uh, you can just nuke an Amoongus, nuke a Rillaboom for that matter, uh, and it, it, it has a lot of value right now, so if you just take a look, Okay, there's actually a few of these. Look, Christopher Han here, 
Uh, right now, seven, fourth place, seven one. Oops, I, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, but again, yeah. So like the wide guard support also is quite good. Again, that supports the eruption stuff, the make it rain, the heat waves, uh, and you're just basically protecting your Ursaluna and your Goldengar and even your Porygon for that matter. So this is ideally uh, the modern way of playing Ursaluna at the moment, right? This slot was always up for grabs. Some people have tried Dragapult. Some people have used Tyranitar here. Uh, you, some people have used Kamo like us. Uh, so you can even just consider now Flamingo here, a strong fighting type that can give you uh, the, the damage that you need here. So I like this a lot. Um, and this is the, the way to play it. And, you know, with Terra type goes, you can't really fake it out. So that's also really nice. But look at all the Flamingo here. Like, again, the same idea here from Jeremy Parsons. Oh, this is AV Ensign. We'll talk about that in the full recap video. But, you know, it just really all depends on the sets that people are running. Uh, but ideally, again, uh, look, here's another one. Uh, Braden Clemens so wide guard but I, there's also quick guard from Flamingo and again quick guard is also nice you know Talonflame also gets quick guard so that can protect you against potential fake outs ideally um, here's another one from Toller Web but uh, this team has been going around um, so you know I would say post regionals if you really wanted to play like Incin P2 or Saluna stuff uh, now you can also consider the Flamingo and you know this is again the the rise of a different way of playing uh, this it just gives you a, another tool to have again some of those popular ideas because again this was the slot that was up for grabs so now that we've seen it uh now people are definitely going to be playing a little bit more uh in uh set online tournaments locals and whatnot so nice to see flamingo come out here oh my god we have to talk about wheezing and toad school here so this was from uh wolf glick and justin Karras's team uh which we'll talk about in a second when we look at those teams but again the fact that we're seeing Galarian wheezing, I, I don't mind the wheezing. I, I think that would that would have definitely made an appearance because of how neutralizing gas works and stopping prankster stuff and other abilities and, and weather. But now you add Toad Scroll here next to the wheezing, and look at this. Uh, you so basically you're taking away mycelium might. Imagine if this thing got a better ability. Who knows what this thing uh, would do in a non uh, restricted format, but. Uh, if you read what Mycelium Might does, first of all, this moves status moves go last in their priority bracket and ignore abilities. Uh, so that means uh, now that you have the Weezing on the field, you don't really care about that. So now you can go with the, the Spore stuff and it's pretty funny. Okay, and again, Ground Grass. So again, you're, you're base speed 100 if you look at this, which is great because then you can outspeed the popular base 90s. Uh, you can also outspeed stuff like Godango for that matter. You outspeed all the base 60s anyway. Uh, so that's great there. Then you have Earth Power that can hit this stuff for big damage. You can hit the King Gambits, the, the Gold Dangos, the Incineroars, the Tyranitars if they don't Terra. Uh, and it, it's a stab move, so it's going to do a lot. And like we said, the Amoongus immunity is nice. Um, so Toad School's got something going for it here. And then the Weezing, again, with Neutralizing Gas, just being able, allowing you to go for these faster spores for that matter is quite cool. Uh, and then just turning off weather turning off prankster uh and like we said other abilities that you you that are normally annoying to deal with but if you just preserve the wheezing uh now uh, you're in a pretty good spot here so uh it's interesting how it works because again the priority bracket is locked so even if you switch out the wheezing and try to go for a spore you will still get this off first before like some of these other pokemon because again uh when you start that turn if the wheezing's still on the field it's the, the the bracket is locked in and you still do it right it's just next turn when you would feel that effect right so in con in, in retrospect like if you try to switch this in and go for the sport it doesn't work uh your sport will still be last in the in the priority bracket so that's pretty cool to see but anyway uh let's take a look at both of those teams so uh i think they're the same team so wolf click here again eight and no uh always doing very strong in swiss as of late so uh corvanite Core Tailwind stuff. So Corviknight also is making an appearance a little bit. So that's nice to see. I think it's a it's a great Pokemon overall. Uh, then you have Garchomp here. So Chomp, Corviknight, we've seen that combination before. Then you add the Hisuian Typhlosion. My goodness. Okay, so and again, it's a Scarf Typhlosion uh, with the Sleep Talk stuff. So again, you can kind of ignore the Amoongus stuff. So, you know, and then the, the Scarf lets you beat the mirror, right? Because, um, Normally, they're going like charcoal or choice spec stuff. Now you add the scarf and now you just outspeed them completely. Uh, so that is pretty 
a standard in itself, except the, the scarf idea. But now we have Acid Spray 2. Look at this. This was the tech of Acid Spray, Covert Cloak 2. Uh, again, ignoring the fake out stuff, the speed drops, whatever it is you want to call it. But now you can combo this uh, with Weezing and even Typhlosion. And now you're doing so much more damage with stuff like Shadow Ball or Heat Wave and Eruption. You're doing more damage, you know, on your Weezing too. Because look at this. This is a Choice Specs Weezing. So this is doing tons of damage with Dazzling Gleam. Think of all the dragons running around. And again, Sludge Bomb also, that's great into Pre-Marina stuff. Uh, and then uh, Flamethrower here, that's great into the annoying other grass types that are running around. So uh, re relatively creative team here. And then you have Palmont over here. Again, strong fighting type uh, that is very useful against the steel types like Gambit, uh, you know, Arkeladon. Dango, Dango, Terra Steel. So that's also really nice here. What a what a team here. So yeah, you know, everyone's gonna be playing this. I can't wait for the YouTube video for this. Uh, you know when it's released by Wolf here. But again, I also think uh, Justin Karras has the same team here. Uh, they probably built together. Yes, it looks like it. Uh, are the Terras the same? Is it? Is it also water? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah, so we'll see what happens moving forward with uh, Galarian Weezing and the Toad Scroll. Del Fox, more than one Del Fox uh, is in day two. So uh, it's very interesting, right? You never thought you'd see the day where Del Fox was in a competitive meta, but it actually has a lot going for it. And I'll tell you why here. So typical set here is Expanding Force, Heat Wave, Terra Blast, Terra Fighting, and Life Orb. So what does this do? What, why is Del Fox so good at this moment? Why is this starting to rise as of late? So um, first of all, look at the speed here. 104, all right? So that means you outspeed base 100s. You outspeed Garchomp. Okay, so that's important. If you can outspeed Garchomp, which is a, a really popular threat at the moment, uh, that's that's good for you. And then at the same time, you know, you pair this with Indeedy, right? Whether it be the male or the female, either way, it's still fine. Uh, and then you have a fast expanding force, which is important, right? Because uh, fast expanding force uh, means you get to go first and you get to hit them really hard. You're not reliant on the trick room stuff, right? So uh, if you can do that, that's great. Uh, then at the same time, you are a fire type and you also have access to fire moves like heat wave. So by the, by you having this speed tier, okay, the difference between this and Hatterene, for example, right? Like Hatterene has to Terra in front of a Goldango if it wants to live. You need to commit the Terra fire or the Terra water and you need to survive to make it rain, ideally, right? Delphox does not need to Terra, all right? So that's the first thing. And then at the same time, you might not even need to uh, if because you are faster anyway, you get to go before the Goldango. So uh, you get to hit it first with a heat wave, right? So now you have to make the Goldango think twice and that's important. Uh, and then at the same time, Terra Blast, Terra Fighting, what's really good into Psy Spam stuff? Dark types, okay? So think about Incineroars, Tyranitars, King Gambits, uh, Hydreigon to an extent, right? So now you can go Terra Blast, Terra Fighting with the Life Orb. You can just one shot those things ideally. Uh, and now you're pretty good uh, into a lot of the normal counters into the the size spam stuff. So this is looking really good uh, as far as like something that is going to be played later on in ladder. I can hunt. This is this will hundred uh, percent rise. So again, birth of the new fast expanding force archetype. Now you add stuff like Murkrow or Whimsicott here for Tailwind stuff, uh, and now you can go for like these fast. Uh, you know, Tailwind Expanding Force, Tailwind Heat Wave, and then you can even add the Sneasler over here. So now the Sneasler, you know, with something like Psychic Seeds here, uh, will do relatively well because now Sneasler can give you fast speed control at the same time. So Delphox has a lot going for it uh, because it's giving you ideas and ways of playing that the normal Psy Spam stuff, you know, with Hatterene or even Armourish just would not give you uh, because of the speed tier that it has as well as the typing. Uh, so this way now you have, um, you know, strong, I strong play into a lot of the counters, right? So let's look at some of these teams here. So six, two from Joshua Robinson. So look at this Del Fox. Okay. So he wave expanding force, terror blast, and of course protect there's the female in DD. Then you have the tailwind idea with Murkrow here, and then you have the sneezer. So there's the four core. Then you just add mouse hold and annihilate, right? Very standard idea just to round out the team. Mouse ape is pretty cool. This is population mouse hold, which we'll talk about more uh, in our full recap video of the regional. This uh, has a little bit uh, of a rise as of late, but moving down here, there's more Del Fox teams here, and they all have like the similar idea, a similar course. Look at this, Kevin Swastek. So here's your here's your Whimsicott instead of a Murkrow. 
Uh, there's your sneezer again. Here's the fast Indeedee, right? The expanding force Indeedee along with Delph Box here. And then here's Imprisoned Trick and stuff, right? And again, Mousehold and Nihilip. So similar idea, uh, you know, coming from this. Uh, and then at the same time, look at this one, Adrian Hurley. Uh, same thing. Instead of Mouse Ape, we have Dondozo Tatsugiri. So, you know, now you have two different kinds of ideas that you can use with this. Uh, and just mixing and matching the Indeedees uh, still, uh, is still okay, depending on how you want to play it. Uh, pros and cons to both. Uh, let me see if we can find a few more here. Look, again, 6-2 is like strong results. Oh, here's, no, that's Armor Rouge. Oh, how about this one? So Ben Grismer here. So look at this. Tailwind, pick an Indeedee, have a Sneezer, have a Delphox. There's your four core. Mouse hold again, but instead of Annihilate, how about Adaptability, Basket Legion? Okay, you know, still works. So shout out to Ben there. Uh, can we find a couple more here? Uh, how about Arbin? Um, so uh, it, look at this. It looks like a pretty standard team, right? With Indeedee, Torkoal, Lilligant, Ursaluna, Gallade. So normally this would be something like an Armourage, right? Or a, a Hatterene. But instead, let's go Del Fox instead. And now let's really have uh, a lock onto some of those counters. So I like this from Arbin. Shout outs to them for, for capitalizing on it. Uh, is there a couple more Del Fox stuff? You know, that, that no, that's it. Everything else is fried free. So pretty cool to see. Uh, you're definitely gonna see it a little bit more moving forward after this regional. How about Scyther from VJ Suits team? Oh my god, we saw Scyther on stream. This was crazy. So again, another interesting speed here. 105. That's one point faster than Del Fox, might I add. Uh, so and still faster than Garchomp and some of those other Pokemon. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then Technician, right? So here's the thing because Scyther has an evolution, now you can add the Violet on this thing, and this becomes super bulky, uh, all things considered, right? These base defenses of 80, 80, that's pretty good. If you just think about how bulky the Porygon 2 was within Violet, like 90, 95, Scyther, even though it's not as bulky as the P2, it still has that's still pretty good in terms of the base stats, right? It, it, and I'll even do a better example. Think about like Kofari. This thing was also pretty bulky with the Violet. Now this is even stronger than Clefairy in terms of the bulk, right? So uh, consider that. Then you add Technician here, all right? And if you know what this does, base power of 60 moves. Uh, now it's doing more damage. Uh, so now look at Dual Wing Beat here. So now you have respectable, decent bulk. Actually, more than respectable, decent bulk. And now you deal damage with Dual Wing Beat. And now you can break Sashes at the same time, which is really nice. Uh, and of course your fire weakness is evidence. So then you can just go Terra Dragon, which is what BJ Sud was doing. Um, so let's look at his team action. Let's just ju jump into this. So 24 place here, 6-2. Look at this squad, bro. He, he He's done this before in regionals. This is not like a first time that we've seen him at a regional. I've seen some of his stuff in the past, especially like Regulation A, which is actually what he used, you know, Sylveon, Miascarada. Again, they were both used in Regulation A. Uh, and then you add, here's the Scyther, right? So look at this. Dual Wing Beat Protect Thief and the Close Combat. So uh, again, the strong fighting coverage uh, potentially into some of those Steel types or, uh, you know, again, the, the King Gambit stuff. And then at the same time, you have Thief. So now you're doing, you know, a, a boosted Technician idea and then you just steal it, uh, which is kind of funny uh, in essence. But again, it is a Dark type move. So that's also pretty cool. Uh, again, some of the Psychic stuff. Uh, and then at the same time, look at the Snorlax AV set. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And then the Blaze uh, Tauros um, is looking good here. Still, you have Premier in here, but no haste stuff, right? It's just Hyper Voice, Protect, Moonblast, and Ice Beam. So that's cool. You have the Meow Scarada for your Dondozo stuff at the end of the day. So that's nice. And then Sylveon, able to just pick up a lot of KOs here with stuff like Quick, quick Attack, Strong Hyper Voice, especially with Sylveon with the, uh, the Fairy Feather. So I like this a lot. This is a cool, interesting team, uh, might I add. So we'll see how far VJ Seed. Uh, goes uh, in the tour, but it's nice to see Scyther uh, in a regional. We actually saw the Fire Pledge, Water Pledge, Grass Pledge stuff at a regional. So take a look at this from Brian's team here, Brian Fournier. Uh, so Dragapult, Furigraph, that's pretty standard. I I've seen those two together commonly throughout the format, but look at this. We have Blaziken for a fire type. We have Empoleon, and then we have Rillaboom here. And you know, look at what they have. Water Pledge from Empoleon, Fire Pledge from Blaziken, Grass Pledge from Rillaboom. So we have different combinations of, of using the Pledge ideas. You have the Swamp stuff. You have the damage over time with the Firestorm ideas. So this is pretty interesting in this sense. And Blaziken also had another appearance uh, on another team that we'll take a look at in a second. But again, what's really cool about Blaziken is it's a Fire type, okay? And at the same time, it's a Fighting type. And with Speed Boost, 
uh, kicking in every turn, you can ideally just protect turn one, get the boost, and now you can outspeed pretty much everything that you want. Um, and then you can even do like fake out stuff and then you just try and get your, your boost again for that matter. But again, close combat, like we mentioned, another good fighting type coverage, fighting type in general, uh, just great into the steel types, the, the King Gambits, the Incineroars for that matter, our Keladins, like we said. So the, the whole theme of this renewal is like, can you find that strong fighting type slash fighting coverage that is going to make all the difference in some of those popular matchups. So, you know, if you want to intimidate the blaze again, well, that's why you have Empoleon here. So flash cannon, you know, stronger water pledge, and then you have the support yawn set here. So this is pretty cool here uh, in, in terms of usage for the Empoleon. I really like this team a lot. Uh, and then, of course, Ursa Luna Blood Moon uh, doing what it needs to do in the Trick Room matchup. I like this team. If, if this is made public, I really want to use this because I think this is quite the team in terms of uh, what it's supposed to do but we also saw blazing in elsewhere i think it was ryan you know our good friend ryan from from canada ryan Lucetto. uh let me just put his name here yep there it is so look at this this is the typical this almost looks like a sneezer core but instead it's just a dragapult stuff but look at this blaziken with coaching here so this is pretty cool because now you can coach the dragapult you outspeed it after one speed boost uh, technically and then you can just coach it uh, and then, you know, the King Gambit, the Rillaboom, you can coach them if you want. So, like, hard-hitting Grassy Glides, hard-hitting King Gambit stuff. It's like, Assault Vest King Gambit with Coaching Boost. So, now you have a nice little Special Defense Boost. Now you have Defense Boost, and now you're getting Attack Boost as well. Uh, and again, King Gambit, Blaziken, good good combo because you can't really intimidate the Blaziken uh, uh, if you want to give the, the fine boost to the King Gambit. So, I like this a lot. This is a cool team overall and nice to see blaziken all of a sudden relevant in a regulation h meta so you, you can definitely see this used a little bit more this is also one of the reasons why incineroar is dropping even though it's still top five usage it's not like the dominant 60 percent usage anymore it's like 25 percent usage uh because now you have some good fire types that are running around you have Delphox fox now blaziken these are two tech options then you also you still had like talon flame and volcarona now you have paldean toros blaze like we showed you earlier so now you're getting a lot more fire types that are strong right now and we'll talk more about them in our day two video stuff but nice to see blaze again all right let's just run through some of the uh, other niche options i just wanted to cover the more popular uh what i think will be more uh common later on and this is also one of those teams too from mr joe ugarte this is something he's used before you know with jump bluff torkoal king gambit stuff with dragonite this, this hasn't changed, uh, but nice to see Jump Bluff uh, on a team like this uh, with Torkoal. So maybe you'll see this moving forward. Of course, you know, with the, oh, I, I clicked out of it. The the Sleep Powder, the Tailwind stuff. Uh, Whimsicott can give you those things. So uh, this is also pretty good use from the Jump Bluff here. Then Leaf Storm for good uh, overall solid damage. So that's nice. Um, then as we scroll down here, uh, we'll find a few more. Uh, how about this one from Alex? Look at this. Volbeat and Espathra, bro. Oh my goodness. So another prankster Pokemon, you know, doing uh having a result uh in a in a regional here. So Tailwind, Sunny Day, and Rain Dance. Uh so that's pretty cool. Normally you might consider that for Arkeladin, right? But uh Arkela, you know, because of the Electroshot, but now you have Sunny Day too. Uh so this way Typhlosion can start going for these eruption plays on their tailwind. So multiple play styles here. Uh, we'll see how far that goes. And again, Esprathra with the Focus S speed boost idea, just like we saw from Blaziken. You know, you can protect turn one, then you can start going for these uh, fast expanding forces, these fast Lumina crashes, you know, just reduce special damage, uh, special defenses, and then have Type Lotion do more damage. Dazzling Gleam also. So what a what a team here. This is pretty cool. Specs pre Marina. We'll talk about that more later on, but this is a team. Shout out to Alex. Very, very creative. Like I said, Regulation H, man. Wild, wild west. They're, just when you think something belongs in the don't use tier, all of a sudden uh, comes in and, and does the job. Just needs time for meta development, yeah? So uh, as we scroll down, there's a couple other stuff here. Oh, how about this one from Noah? Uh, it, there's a Hypno, a Hypno in, in day two. Look at this. Again, expanding for Haze. Okay, so look at this. There's your Don Dozo answer. You got Haze and you got expanding force. Who else can do this? I don't even know hypno stats. Do you guys know hypno stats? I don't. All right, so look at this. All right, pretty bulky in special defense department. Speed, not that great, but it is faster than some of the other base 60s. So uh, I guess we have that going for it. Insomnia, so you can't sleep this thing, so that's cool. Um, but overall, like expanding force, is, that is a set. I want to hear the explanation behind this. 
Um, so that's that that, that rental is gonna go hard, especially Cybertron. I'm sure he's gonna feature that team if it is released. Um, but then again, moving forward, how about this one? This also has been on the rise. Brendan Zhang here. Uh, it's the Hisuian Samurott here. So look at this. People are starving for like good water types besides the Pre-Marina. Now you have Hisuian Samurott all of a sudden rising, especially with sharpness. Uh, look at this. Razor Shell, Night Slash, Sacred Sword. Uh, again, we, we've seen what the, you know, stuff like Night Slash and Sacred Sword could do with Gallade. Now you have a Hisuian Samurott here. Uh, and this is pretty cool in essence. And then after that, it's just pretty standard stuff. And this is Sneezer with the Poison Stutch, uh, Focus Sash stuff. But nice to see Hisuian Samurott. I think we'll see it more. We have seen it already in the online tours. Uh, but yeah, uh, then as you go down, there's a Breloom here from Nick Nabar. So instead of something like an Amoongus, Again, we're going for the Technician stuff with Breloom. Bullet C doing a lot of damage. Spore Mach Punch. So again, strong fighting move overall. Again, it, it, once the power creep is lower, you don't really need Incineroar as much. I just want to say that. And then uh, other things uh, seem a, a little bit better in a lower power creep format. And, you know, Breloom, again, perfect example. How about this one? Uh, so how about Kamo coming in here? Uh, well, I wouldn't say this was like, you know, relatively niche. It's a team built around it. Uh, and it's the Clangorous Soul set, so that's pretty cool. Then as you keep going down here, uh, we'll, I think we can find a couple more options. Oh, Cinderace! How about this from Matt Teeth? Cinderace! Libro! I haven't seen Cinderace since Dynamax Sword and Shield, but look at this! Cinderace Libro Choice Band stuff. Again, it's kind of like Protein. It only just works once per switch in, but hard-hitting Flare Blitz, hard-hitting Sucker Punch, and High Jump Cakes. Just don't miss, right? But again, U-turn. And here's the cool thing about Cinderace. Again, it's, it's about that speed tier. So 119, you outspeed a lot of those other fast Pokemon. Like, again, imagine Mousehold or some of the other 111s and whatnot. So I just, I, actually, let me see what Talonflame hits. Oh, no, never mind, not Talonflame. Um, but again, uh, strong attacker. So uh, this is pretty cool to see. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell you a world where I saw Cinderace coming back in a Scarlet Violet meta. But here it is uh, in, in that sense. Oh, as we go down, how about Greninja over here? Uh, Water Shuriken, Haze stuff. I actually wanted to do Greninja later this week because I did see this in some online tournaments. But now we get to see it here again. Water Shuriken, Haze stuff with Taunt. Uh, you are a Dark type, so you can sit in front of the side Spam stuff, ideally. Uh, but maybe that changes now with the idea of Delph Box. But we'll see uh, moving forward. Uh, then as we scroll down, uh, no, actually that's it. That's where that's where we're gonna stop here. So uh, pretty interesting in terms of some of those niche day one meta Pokemon uh, that it made some quite the results here. So we'll see where we are in day two. But overall, let me know what you thought of some of the cool picks that we saw in day one. And hopefully you enjoyed the day two, day two stream. All right, but uh, that's it for now, folks. We'll be back with another video in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.